All right, yo, check me out. Straight out the Bronx, baby. So, I'm sorry. I'm just over here drinking on a Sunday motherfucking night. Even though I gotta go get my hustle on tomorrow, so good. Listen, I just wanted to fucking share uh, once again a funny ass story. So, as I'm watching my uh, debut performance at the Improv, um, I posted a couple of you know small clips. I'm still gonna post a few more on on, on Instagram, uh, TikTok, and YouTube. So one of them was the beginning, which uh, shows the the comic or supposedly comic. She ain't fucking funny. She ain't no comedian. I'm gonna I'm make her change her fucking profession. Uh, she introduces me at first. She's like, yo, we got a big hitter coming, blah, blah, blah. I'm like, all right, cool. That's good shit. They're going to play my music. And all of a sudden, she says, there's a funny looking, uh, uh, what did she say? Meepo looking fucker, which I thought was funny. But I was like, okay, this bitch want to rock. Oh, what the fuck? Right away, I'm thinking like, fuck, I only got five minutes. Shit, I can't even come back. Because then we're going to go back and I ain't going to you know, be able to say my shit. And plus, I had met her right before the show, um, introduced, and I, I'm, I'm trying to, like, really make an impression, hopefully, that I'll get more time. So she's like, uh, is this your first time? I was like, yeah, it's my first of many. Um, and she kind of chuckled and laughed. And I says, no, you don't understand. I'm funny, bitch. And then she laughed. I'm like, you know, I've been telling funny-ass stories for fucking years. You know, finally took my best friend, uh, Eric, to, you know, tell me, listen, you need to bring that shit to stage. So uh, she's like, yeah, okay, you know, we'll see how you do. It's kind of her attitude. I'm like, bitch, you don't understand? I'm, 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 I know I'm funny because I laugh at my own shit. You know what I'm saying? And she chuckles. And I says, listen, you don't understand how funny I am. I've actually been thrown out of a couple of, not just one, but a couple of comedy clubs in New York back in the days for heckling comedians. I just grew up, you know, I grew up funny. I grew up goofy in high school, uh, grade school, high school, and college. We used to just break on each other. That's all we did. We had no money. So we didn't have, you know, money, you know, didn't have shit to, or should I say, we didn't have ends to make ends meet. So we just fucking sat there and just broke on each other and blah, blah, blah. So I grew up, you know, breaking on each other. So that's my shit. You know, you want to come at me, bitch? Okay. All right. So I'm going to come at you now. So, you know, right away, I'm thinking, as I'm watching these videos, I was like, this fucking bitch, she got over on the motherfucker. Oh, shit. I have her, um, I tagged her, I have her on uh, Instagram, so I'm going to, of course, send her to this shit. You know, um, right away, just thinking off the top of my head, I would have been like, bitch, you fucking no-ass white-having bitch, what the fuck are you doing? I would have just been, like, ripping. Of course, you know, I was gonna, you know, I would wait for her to come back at me, and I would have just fucking destroyed her. Like, destroyed her. I made people, when I joined the military, um, I made people laugh. I remember this one dude, he was, he, he was a black dude, but he was acting white, so he was like an Oreo, if you want to say. And I remember him coming at me like crazy. And in, in the military, I wanted to beat so many people's asses, you know. I just wanted to fuck people up. But I realized I joined at 32. So everybody else was like 18, 19. So I was like, I don't want to catch a case, you know what I'm saying? Plus, in the military, if you fuck up, they're going to put you on extra duty. They're going to have all this other shit for you. So I'm like, I don't want to deal with that. I just want to coast and go through. So I'm sitting there as an older guy trying to tell these young guys, sorry, I got a drink. I'm trying to tell these young guys, yo, just chill, relax, man. Just do what the drill sergeant says and uh, and it'll let you go. And once, I I'm sorry to jump around from story to story. I'll get back to the heckling, but this has to do with that. They kind of all tie together. So uh, I was like, you know, one day I just, I just, I just snapped and I was like, we came out of the chow hall, um, which is where we used to eat, and everybody used to be in formation, and we used to just be kind of goofing around waiting for the drill sergeants to come out. And he said something, you know, of course, I've always been a big guy. So he said something like, uh, something about my head or my neck or something like that. I says, all right, motherfucker, it's on. You want some of this? So he kind of stood up and he was like, yeah, what you want? I destroyed this guy so bad. I don't even remember what the fuck I said. I was just like, you Oreo fucking blah, blah, blah. I'm telling you, everybody. I'm talking, there was probably at least 50 soldiers out there in different formations. Everybody was crying. Like, they was on the floor crying. This dude was so shook. He was like, Yo, can, can you just stop, man? Just Can you just stop? Can you just leave me alone? Like, I'm like, what the fuck? 
Now all of a sudden you want to cry like a little bitch, right? You was all up in my face before. And now you want to fucking cry like a little bitch. So the moral of the story is don't come at your boy. Or should I say, if you want to come at your boy, be prepared for the smoke, bitch. I got you. I'm calling you out right now. Hopefully, like they say, what this, go back, uh, uh, Twitter, Twitter beef or some shit. This could be Instagram, Twitter beef, YouTube beef. I don't give a fuck. We, we, com oh, I know I'm a comedian. I don't know what the fuck you doing. Like I said, you probably got a day job. You probably work at Walmart or, or fucking uh, Circle K or fucking, uh, you probably work at, at Super 8, the fucking motel, giving blowjobs in the corner. I don't know what the fuck you do. You know, fucking white bitch with no ass at all. Uh, the funny shit is, uh, one of my, one of my, uh, my boys, uh, just texted me a little while ago. He's like, yo, you should have told that bitch, you know, you got to call 911 because somebody stole her ass. You know, that was kind of funny. But anyway, like I said, I'm calling your ass out, bitch. I don't remember, all I remember her name, I think it's Megan. Megan some shit. But you'll see about it. I'm going to send it to her. Hopefully this goes back and forth. Bring it, bitch. Bring it.